All right, first of all, I'd like to just say good morning to everybody and thank you all for coming out. Uh, thank you for being at this news conference to announce our two uh, new emergency warning sirens that have been installed here in the city of Prattville. Uh, those that have uh, been installed here lately have been uh, the two installed here in the, the Elmore County portion of Prattville. Uh, we would like to recognize a couple of our elected officials that are out this morning. We've got Senator Brian Taylor with us, Commissioner Joe Falk, and then uh, Mayor Bill Gillespie with us as well. We, we would like to thank them for being out here and uh, just announcing these two new emergency warning sirens being installed and up and operational. Uh, as you can see, we're standing here in front of one of the newly installed emergency warning sirens here off of Legends Parkway right behind Home Depot. Uh, the second of the two that have been installed have, uh, is installed over off of uh, Old Farm Lane, right across from Prattville Christian Academy. Uh, these two locations both have the potential to have large uh, uh, populations of, of people outdoors uh, at any given time. Uh, the, the siren here is in a premier shopping district uh, uh, that is ever expanding and then also we're very uh, closely located to uh, a, a premier golf course in the area as well. So we feel like this is a, a very strategic location for an emergency warning siren to warn those who are outside. Uh, also, uh, these sirens will be activated any time that there is a tornado warning issued by the National Weather Service. Uh, these, uh, these sirens will be activated uh, according to the Polygon warning system. If, if these sirens are located in the Polygon, that is issued, uh, then, then these sirens will be activated. Uh, this project has been a cooperative effort between the Elmore County Commission, the City of Prattville, the Elmore County Emergency Management Agency, and the Otago Emergency Management Agency as well. Uh, the cooperation has been excellent, uh, and we would also like to give special thanks to Central Alabama Electric Cooperative uh, for installing the sirens uh, and, and installing the poles for us at no charge at all. Uh, at this time, uh, I would like to ask Mayor Gillespie to come up. I believe he would like to make a few comments, and then he will also have Commissioner Falk follow him. Mayor? Thank you. Yes, sir. I just want to echo some of the same things that were just mentioned there. I think it's a good thing that the community has come together, you know, uh, Prattville, Otaka County, Elmore County, just everybody involved to, to help show that the, um, the effort is there to, to spend the tax dollars uh, efficiently and you know they I think they've done a great job of pinpointing the exact location that these sirens need to be in I know everybody remembers when the tornadoes came through here several years ago and I just uh, I hope this puts a lot of ease to everybody you know technology has improved so much over the last several years there's times when people say oh we'd like to go back to old school you know, back to the days I guess of Mayberry well, it was good to have some Mayberry but uh, the technology we have today is very very important be able to utilize each and every one of that because our first responders um, which one I think their main goals is not to have to come out and deal with victims and I hope that with this siren system is coming out it will cut down on any kind of potential victim um, victims that we have here during any kind of disaster but at this time I'll turn it over to Elmo County Commissioner Joe Falk. Thank you Mary Gillespie one of the great privileges I have in serving on the Promo County Commission is to be able to work with other elected officials in cooperation to get things like this done. As uh, a lot of people don't know, and one of the things I get to do often, and I did with Mayor Gillespie just the other day, was welcome a group that met down here at the Legends, and I was able to inform them that they actually were in Elmore County. Because a lot of people don't know that this part of Prattville is in Elmore County. And on certain days, this is probably one of the most populated areas in our county, uh, depending upon the shopping season, depending on what time of day it is, depending on what time of week it is. And so it's very important to us to make sure that when we work with elected officials, it's for a great cause as the cause of the safety of our citizens. So I'd like to thank uh, our EMA staff and the EMA staff of Tarrant County and the City of Prattville, along with Mayor Gillespie and the City Council of uh, Prattville, along with our Elmore County Commission. And one of the uh, key components of being able to work cooperatively is also how uh, folks, I, I don't want to call them politicians, but I'll, in this case, I'll call statesmen like 
uh, Senator Brian Taylor, who I'd like to introduce now. Senator Taylor, I'd like for you to come up and make some comments. Thank you. Uh, I just th I just wanted to say, I was just talking to Eric about you know what what's the cost of uh, putting up a siren and. Uh, in this particular area, something like this is very important. You know, there's a lot of talk nowadays about what's the right way for people to be warned of, of particularly of tornadoes. And you know, nowadays we have, uh, I didn't bring mine with me, the one time that I, uh, we have these smartphones, uh, we've got weather, uh, weather radios, uh, which of course in your home are the number one way to, uh, to stay alert. Uh, but this area is largely commercial. We've got restaurants, we've got a movie theater, we've got a golf course. Uh, so people are away from home and they rely on, on sirens like this uh, and they've been doing that for many, many years and, and they can be very effective for that. So uh, I think it's a wise investment and I was glad to hear that uh, the state taxpayers really only end up picking up about 25% of the cost of this, uh, actually less than that because of the public-private partnership with the uh, with Central Alabama Electrical Co-op that agreed to install it for free, uh, leveraging federal dollars. Uh, so. This is the kind of aggressive um, sort of the use of the fundamental, um, it's a fundamental role of government uh, for public safety, uh, but in, in doing this uh, we've been very wise and efficient with taxpayer dollars and I want to commend DMA for that uh, and our local, uh, local leaders, our mayor and our county commissioners over in Elmore for working together to make this possible. Well, as the uh as the, the elected officials mentioned, the, the partnership between the, the actual funding, I'd like to speak to that for just a moment. Uh, we did receive 75% of the funds for the project through the, the uh, FEMA Hazard Mitigation Grant Program. Uh, the other 25% of the funds at the, the local match was provided through the Elmore County Commission through the sales tax that's collected in this area. Uh, again, uh, the, the cooperative effort between uh, the, the municipality and, and the county and then the two EMAs working together has been critical to make this project happen and again I'd just like to thank everybody uh, for their part in the project. At this time this concludes our, our uh, press conference. Uh, we appreciate everybody coming out. Uh, one quick reminder we have the, the preparedness fair and safety Saturday coming up in Lowe's uh, in Wetumpka this Saturday from 10 to 2 and we'd love to have anybody that's interested come out and join us. Thank you all for your time.